Hey everyone, Caleb with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a video titled People Will Pay Anything for Some Books. And guys, I know that sounds dirty right off the bat. It sounds like I'm going to, like, say, charge someone a million dollars for certain books. And I'm not saying that whatsoever. I'm just trying to make you guys aware that some people are willing to spend uncanny amounts of money for some certain books. So guys, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I do antique books. You know that is my main focus in my business. I do branch out on a few different things to test them out for you guys or just to test them out for my own sake, for my own business. But by and large, I focus on antique books. And as such, antique books, I'm sure you guys know, some of them are quite rare because let's face it, if you print a thousand copies of a book a thousand years ago, odds are there are no copies left or maybe one. It's going to be quite, quite, quite rare. And as such, someone who really wants that book, if it is a more popular book, they will spend more money for it. Now, again, I'm not saying that I'm going to charge seven million dollars for this particular book because it's the only one left anywhere. Of course, that's not to say I won't do it. If the book is worth that much, if I do feel like it is worth that much, I might ask that much. But this video, guys, is actually about the eBay International Program. So guys, if you've been selling on eBay any amount of time, you know that the eBay International Program allows people from all over the world to purchase your books or whatever other wares you sell on eBay. And it allows eBay to deal with all the stupid, so annoying international custom stuff. I mean, if you guys were here before eBay started doing that, you knew that filling out all the customs pa paperwork was just a headache and a half. I personally just hated it, and I charged, uh, when people would do it, I charged an extra, uh, I want to say 10 or 20 bucks just to do the international thing, just because it was so much more work for me to do. I want to say it was closer to 10, but it was a bit more, uh, depending on the book, I guess, uh, whatever I was selling. I guess I might have charged a little bit more, but yeah, you had to in individually put in all these different things. You had to do all the custom paperwork. It was quite the headache. I, I was not a fan of it, but I did it, and I did make quite a few customers happy with it, because a lot of the people are more than happy to pay more money, because they know there are headaches involved with international shipping. They know that it is a rare book. They know all these different things. So people, they cognitively understand that some things are a little harder to get their hands on, and as such, a lot of people are willing to pay a good amount more money for these books. So for example, guys, I just sold a book for $35, and the person ended up spending almost an additional $35 just for shipping because it was through the international program with eBay. And guys, I've had so many books where the people end up paying double how much they were spending in the first place just because of the international shipping program. Because again, I sell a lot of antique books that are very rare. Some of the books you guys see behind me, I can't find additional copies of, which is something that's really cool, but it's also a little bit of a headache. And people that really want these things, again, they will spend a lot of money to, in order to get their hands on some of these more rare books. So with that said, though, what does that mean for you guys? Well, it does mean uh, I don't I don't know for sure if we have an option to sell on eBay International any, anymore or not. We used to back in the day. I don't know if they even allow us to say no anymore. But if you guys do have your own websites or if you sell anywhere other than eBay, I would personally recommend also selling your things on eBay for the international program or at least have the option to do so. People will spend additional money, sometimes a good amount more, to get their hands on these books. Like. I'm sure we've all had something that we've wanted so desperately bad, and eventually we see it, but we see, oh, because of this reason or this reason, we can't actually get it. And it's a bummer. It like really just takes the wind out of your sails, and you're just like, I was so close to having my dream, but I can't because of X and X a reason. As such, I highly recommend making sure that your books are available to the international um, platform, the international community, because there are plenty of our brothers and sisters around the world who want to get their hands on some of the certain books that we have. Guys, I've sold books all over the world. Um, I don't know what the furthest I've ever sent a book to. Um, I think I mentioned this in another video. I know I've sent one to South Africa. I know I've sent one to Australia. I want to say a couple to New Zealand. I know I've done some to Greece. I don't think Greece is the furthest, though, because I'm up in Oregon, so Greece is a little bit closer than some of the other ones. But it's cool all the different countries I've sent things to. And most of the countries I've sold stuff to and sent stuff to are pre predominantly just uh, either westernized countries or western aligned countries plus uh, I guess South Africa South Africa sorry it's no longer really western aligned they're joining the BRICS currencies so BRICS countries so it's sort of an eastern bloc pseudo uh, sort of position for them but that is something guys that you can definitely keep in mind try to make sure that your things are available for international customers because some people really really do want your particular books some people are willing to pay up for that and uh, again I'm not saying this to say like oh yeah have them over a barrel, make them pay 65 trillion dollars. But I am saying, guys, 
it, people are willing to pay up for something they really, really want. Yes, it might be a little bit more of a headache for you. So yes, you can definitely charge a little bit more for these things or substantially more, something that seems fair, at least for you and for the customer. Uh, if the customer doesn't think it's fair, they won't pay for it in the first place. But that is something you guys can definitely keep in mind for your business. Again, I'm not telling you to like just really take advantage of people but i am saying that it is something that's very important to keep in mind for your business because again i've had so many books where i say buyer pays shipping and yeah buyer pays shipping according to ebay it's like it's five bucks but if you're international it's instantly going to hop up to 10 bucks 20 bucks 30 bucks something along those lines i've actually had sets of books substantially large sets of books guys i'm talking it takes up three good sized boxes I've had those sell through the international program. I've loaded all those up, sent them all off, and I've had happy customers all over the way, all, sorry, all along the way, just because I'm able to help them get these books that they really, really want. Because again, I do antique books, so these people cannot get these books most of the time otherwise. And of course, I'm sure this is going to be the case with a lot of you guys that sell non-antique books, that there are some books that people just cannot get their hands on otherwise. So for example, um, as you guys know, I write books and I have some author friends, and some of my author friends live in other countries, and they publish on on Amazon but then Amazon actually will not send them their books so as such sometimes these people they have no way to actually get their hands on the books that they actually wrote and potentially their friends and family are not able to buy those books because it's not available through Amazon to their, their particular countries or Amazon does not ship to their country or Amazon charges an unholy fee to ship their to their countries so sometimes guys selling your books on eBay even newer books can actually end up being a better deal for these people to purchase uh, things through because end of the day it's like okay i can either spend this much on ebay or i could spend five times more on amazon because guys amazon as much as they say that it, they are for the customer and all those sorts of things and i think we've all seen a few times where it's like amazon i am a customer and you just like totally ruined me i don't know why what did i do wrong against you help and they're like no bleep you we're too big now up yours it's just like wow you're mean uh but that is something that can definitely happen you guys are providing a service you are providing something of value so do not feel obligated to not charge a little bit more for these things because it is more work if you have to file customs paperwork now of course if you're doing it through ebay you don't really need to charge an arm and a leg more for these things because ebay does uh, handle all the customs and all that sort of stuff all you have to do is load it uh, up the same exact way you do normal listing if you're selling on the international program you just put a normal label on it ship it to the ebay place it'll automatically have the right info for you so you just ship it off to that place and ebay will then take care of everything else for the rest of the world for you it's very nice and very easy uh, personally for me i've been contemplating i've mentioned this in a hundred other videos and i'm sure you guys are all thinking ah caleb do it already i've been thinking about having my own website as you guys have heard and i was actually just thinking today i was like if i do do my own website what if i had it so like buy it now and it sells just the us and then if you're an international person click this link here to purchase it and what if that link led to a ebay page or something like that where they could then buy it from ebay and yeah i would end up not making the same amount of money since i'd get ebay fees taken out of that but then that allows ebay to handle the international stuff because i having done it several several times i really really do not like handling the international custom sort of stuff for all that sort of thing so with that said and done though guys i hope that gets some brain juices going around for you guys i hope you guys can percolate on that mull it over in your head uh, because it really is something that is important it can make you some good more uh good money and while shipping it internationally might not be your money maker the avail availability of your items to the rest of the world can definitely increase the amount of people that will buy from you and as such you'll be able to get greater revenues based solely on that so with that said and done though guys i hope this was helpful uh, if it was please be sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys in one of the next videos over there